my dear friend i guess that this video will be a turning point for your life for your prayer life today um, it's about the rosary and i know many many people who love the rosary who pray the rosary every day i know some people who are still reluctant to pray the rosary every day but i have a question actually i have several questions why on catholic radio is the prayer of the rosary the one who gets the greatest audience why did the great miracle worker padre pio had always the rosary in his hand why mother teresa prayed the rosary and the rosary would open the door for everything she wanted to do why does satan tremble at the simple word of name of mary in the rosary and why is the rosary the prayer of the new times why well i'll start with a personal very personal and family testimony during the second world war my father belonged to a group of resistance those who resisted the, the german and um, there were 10 fellow men in that little cell of resistance and but unfortunately one of them was uh, picked by the german was uh, asked to deliver all the names of the other fellow men therefore my father with the nine other fellow men of the group of resistance was brought to germany and he was locked in a concentration camp actually he went to different camps but the whole journey lasted three solid years during this time my father was a great lover of our lady and he would pray the rosary often he was the only son of his mother who was a widow and his mother poor mother was waiting for him in france without any news from him but she would pray rosary after rosary with a great faith that our lady would bring back her dear son jean pierre okay john peter what happened during his imprisonment many things our lady really protected him miraculously one episode i want to share with you was well he was exhausted he was starving as all the other prisoners and they were asked by the ss with his other prisoners to carry some stone from a quarry so they had to carry those stones from the quarry to another place where the nazis had the plan to build some something there and each prisoner was given a stone when my father saw the stone that was for him he lost heart he understood that his last hour had come because it was impossible it was so large it was impossible for him in that state of exhaustion to carry such a stone impossible so and he knew that if he was not doing it the job the dogs that were around would come and bite him and to, to blood and uh, and then the uh, ss would would kill him and he would die there like a dog you know so in his distress he lifted up his eyes and uh, there was a little house nearby and on the wall of that house there was a little alcove and inside the alcove stood a little statue of the blessed mother when my father saw that statue he took heart and he said he cried out in his heart mother save me save me mother at this very moment he said and he told us so many times that story at that very moment the stone was like a feather would not weight more than a feather so very easily he carried that stone to the to the place and that saved his life so to make a long story short out of the 10 men who were arrested by the gestapo in france my father was the only one to return home for the joy of his mother and i say for my joy because thanks to that i was born because my parents got married after the second world war so um, i was born in 47 so you see that saves me too okay so needless to say that from from that day on but all his life my father never missed to pray his rosary every day praise be jesus and mary you know that each ave maria each hail mary that we offer to Our Lady. It's like offering her a rose. And Our Lady loves the roses. 
Now listen what she said in, um, in February 2017. Dear children, you, apostle of my love, pray with the heart and show by your acts the love of my son. This is for you the only hope. This is for you the only way toward eternal life. I, as your mother, I am with you. And listen to that. The prayers that you offer me are the most beautiful roses of love for me. I cannot not be there where I smell the fragrance of the roses. There is hope, she said. So each time you pray the rosary, whether a decade or full rosary, she smelled the fragrance of roses and she said, I cannot not be there. So if you want to attract the presence of Our Lady, who crushes the head of the serpent, just pray the rosary and she'll crush the head of the serpent wherever he goes and wherever you pray. You know, my friend, that some of the religious communities have to close down their convent because of lack of vocations. Is there a solution to that? A very simple one, yes. And I will give you now a very significant example. Let's go to Quito. We are in 1984. There is a Carmelite convent there. This Carmel was called Carmel Alto. And it was very poor, very humble. And it was about to disappear because well, they didn't have any vocation for many years. And the nuns there were quite old, and therefore the novitiate has been closed down for many years. And no vocation was on the horizon, and that has been going on and on and on. No vocation. So the prioress, Mother Maria Elena of the Heart of Jesus, heard one day about Medjugorje. And soon after, she received a visit from another nun from Italy, Sister Luicella. And that Luicella told the Mother Superior, I'm going to Medjugorje. Tomorrow I go to Medjugorje. So Mother Maria Elena, hearing that this sister was going to Medjugorje, was thrilled. And she said, wow, now when you are there, please, please try to catch one of the visionaries and ask that visionary to ask Our Lady during the apparition to pray that we may have vocations for our Carmel. And uh, so that sister Luciella accepted the deal. She went to Medjugorje. Of course, she couldn't grab, <laughs> she couldn't meet a visionary because they are not like available in the street like that. But she had the great opportunity, Providence, uh, to uh, be there that day in a public apparition. And um, so she prayed during the apparition, of course, to Our Lady. And after the apparition, the visionary uh, shared with these people present the word from Our Lady that was given during the apparition. And here is the incredible message that Our Lady had given on that day precisely. Now listen to that message. All communities who will pray every day the full rosary, meaning the 15 decades, for the intentions of my Immaculate Heart will be looked after by me personally and I will choose myself their vocation. So she would take care herself of these communities and she would pick herself all the vocation for these communities. Isn't this incredible? So Sister Lucilla went back to Quito. She met the prioress who of course was very, um, she was delighted. She was thrilled actually. And sure enough, the next day she gathered the sisters of her community and they discussed that and they decided to do according to Our Lady's request to pray the rosary every day together, the three parts of the rosary, the joyful, the sorrowful and the glorious mysteries. And because, you know, they were making some host so they could pray also during work and of course during the time in the chapel, it was easy for them. So they decided that to change a little bit their schedule of work and, and prayers. So they did that. And sure enough, after some years, a young lady knocked at the door of the Carmelite convent. She had the vocation. So she was the first one to, 
to come after so many years, but then another one, then another one, then another one, then another one, then another one. So what happened is that in 1998, which means 14 years later, there were 21 sisters in that Carmelite convent, which means it was so full that they had to make a foundation because the rule of the Carmel is that they can't be over 21, the family life and all this. So they made a foundation in Santo Domingo, which is also in Ecuador. Now those sisters of Santo Domingo, <laughs> they remember that tradition of Quito, and of course they pray the rosary every day together, uh, the three parts of the rosary. And sure enough, after some years, the Carmelite, the new Carmelite of uh, Santo Domingo was full again, 21 sisters, so much so that they had to make a third foundation that time in Panama in, uh, in 2017, in January. And there were 500 people, bishops and priests to dedicate that Carmelite uh, convent to God. Now, let me tell you something that in 2017, I went for a mission in, in Israel, in Galilee, and uh, different places in the Middle East, and I went to visit the Carmelite convent of uh, the Mount Carmel. It is there that one of the sisters, Sister Maria Lorena, told me that story, and she said, you know, sister, I am one of the many fruits of this incredible grace for my Carmel, because I had the vocation and I entered myself in the Carmelite convent of Santo Domingo. And so I'm one of the fruits. And she was thrilled when she told me the story. Now, Mother Maria Elena, who was the first witness of this miracle, um, gave that witness to different communities around, the poor Claires and things like that. And of course, all these communities adopted uh, the same thing and made the same decision to pray the rosary every day together and they saw the fruit of that. Now, my friends, you understand the reason why Our Lady is so strong in reminding us so often to pray the rosary every day. Believe me, you will not regret it. And uh, many miracles, many healings, many liberations, many multiplication, many open doors are prepared now for you in heaven and they need to fall on you but if you pray the rosary they will fall very quickly so pray the rosary every day you won't regret it now for those who wish to i suggest that we pray together a simple decade of the rosary with all our heart okay in the name of the father and the son of the holy spirit amen our father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Mary, Mother and Queen of Peace, pray for us. Oh